wonderful. We wish to speak with you tonight about, about playing the mandalas, the grids of energy, the ley lines, the energy lines that connect all of us, be you on your planet or to your soul or to other dimensions or collectives or beings. We are all of us connected. If we are all connected, then of course, we may extend energy between us. You have experienced this already when someone who is dear to you walks in the room, you see them and there is a heart song between you and energy or the opposite. We all are connected, you know, the opposite. When there is one you know is not healthy for your energy, you feel it and possibly go elsewhere or energetically disconnect so they do not affect you. But understand we are all energetic beings be it more solid as you are, or more etheric as we are, we are all connected. Some connections on your planet are having a little repair issue. The mandalas are a little mm, in disarray for they're not getting the energy flow they need. Just as when you wallow in anxiety or fear, you are not getting the energy you need from the beauties around you. Some of the grids, the energetic grids on your planet are also not getting the beautiful infusions they need. There are those of you who are energetically creating repairs for the oceans, for people, for animals. This is one way, one excellent way to help with this. But another way is to just share your heart song. Share your heart song through the energy lines and any energy lines that resonate with your natural essence will flow this music from your heart. In time, you can learn to flow your soul through you, fill your heart so the song is amplified even out to whoever appreciates or connects heart songs. Ways to flow energy songs through the ley lines, through the mandalas, the grids and networks begins with your imagination. Allow yourself to sit and imagine your connections. Just sit and feel home and what you are connected with in the moment. It may be in the room or the area of nature you are in. If you're in a forest or with an animal or sitting with your laptop, connecting to those you love through your laptop, or it may be in your imagination connecting to a memory or to those you love elsewhere or to another collective, another dimension or to a past life. It is your imagination, but your imagination is fired up by the truth of your connection that is calling to you. You may 
in your mind's eye, in your third eye, or in your heart, in your sacral chakra, you may know who and what, and then allow the song to flow through your heart and allow your imagination to experience the effect it has when your heart song is received by the other, be it a memory, a place, a being. Experience it. When you have found yourself singing and connecting, then you may play with your musical instrument. Pluck the energies like a guitar or a stringed instrument or blow through them like a flute or a horned instrument or sing words of love or hmm, there is playing with the energy, playing with this. For we all know that even the most serious of work can be more impactful with a smile and a cheerful demeanor. So at this moment, we would like to help you practice this process. We invite you to relax. Go into yourself, allow your energy to be clear and open. Just feel yourself on the inside and meditate for a moment on a question. What is a wonderful attribute within you? Whichever trait comes up. You may be nice or kind, or you may be quick or quick witted or tenacious, or you may be a wonderful energy healer or have beautiful skills in one way or another, or whichever attribute you make others feel good. Or perhaps you are excellent at your personal grooming and look so others enjoy your presence. It does not matter which each, each time you practice this, you may sing a different heart song for certainly you have a choir of heart music and heart singers within you. So select one that feels enjoyable for now, one that will make you potentially even happy within yourself, a trait. And then just meditate joyously on your magnificent abilities with this trait and how good it makes you feel. You'll notice when you honor the truth of your profound skill and ability and you own it, your energy increases. It moves out. It has greater power. You may need to remind yourself to open up so more energy can flow into you for certainly you are radiating brightly and for good reason. Hmm. Honor yourself and your extraordinary capabilities. You may compliment yourself and receive, accept, with gratitude, the compliments you give to yourself. And now, open your heart and mind 
this gratitude and love that you feel for yourself for this wonderful extraordinary skill you may send this gratitude out for whomever wishes to receive it whom we do not know for when a stream flows down a mountainside it does not think what body of water will receive me otherwise what i will stop flowing become a swamp no it flows it flows it does not think which animals are permitted to drink from me or make home in my waters no it welcomes all and it flows it flows and then you find small fishes live in the waters and little crystals find their place to glitter in the sunlight and animals come and drink from it and make their homes nearby and the water flows around rocks and nourishes the roots of the plants and the trees until finally it reaches a river, a swamp, an ocean, it does not matter, for all waters are connected. Eventually, the water will rise up in the air and rain down elsewhere. Water is very giving, and every molecule of water has already been all around the world a multitude of times. It does not care if it's in a river or a pond, in your sink water, in the ocean, deep under a desert, because it is here for a purpose. And this purpose is to bring moisture to the world. And your purpose is to flow your heart song and see where it goes where does it go to enjoy who connects with your heart song who receives it allow your imagination to open up and explore If you'd like, you may send extra heart song to wash over whoever is receiving or whatever. You may explore the benefits of your heart song upon this place. Observe and if you'd like, you may fine tune your heart song. Make it greater flowing or lighten it up fluffy like a mist or a jet of propulsion going fast play with it with joy Become one with this entire experience. It is your energy where you are and flowing from you. You may become one with your energy at the receiving place. Allow your awareness to live in your energy as it is flowing and where it is received you may find as your energy merges with the energy of this place it is transformed into a different entity altogether the emulsions of the energies create a newer experience Of course, if this newer creation does not appeal to you, you may gently withdraw your energy. And if it appeals to you, 
You may even expend your energy in a joy. If you'd like, you may even expand your awareness, raise your awareness to a higher place. We are looking down upon yourself in this energy flow, looking from above a higher perspective to see how your energy is affecting so many for the energy you are creating is flowing elsewhere, creating energy and emotions, you may see how your small spark of being is affecting so much, so much for the greater good, filling with your love, your being. This technique is the same whether you are sending energy from your heart to another friend or family or a beloved, or if you are sending energy from your heart to an entire solar system or a collective or another dimension. The technique is the same for, of course, we are all connected. You will feel each frequency is unique. But the technique is repetitive. You will play with it, and each time that will be unique. But again, the fundamental process is the same for whatever you connect with. We recommend you practice this and enjoy. For there are many subtle benefits and processes. There is much, as we said, playing lines of energy of a mandala. Imagine you have a guitar that is sitting there. It's just like a piece of nothing until someone picks it up and plays the instrument. So if you see mandalas that maybe are inactive, play them as an instrument, sing to them, dance through them. This activates them, it turns them back on, and then you can feel the goodness from the energy coming back to you as well. We mentioned this. Or, of course, you are in a time where there is much upheaval. There is what you would call an energetic free for all. With all the action that has occurred, energy has exploded in all directions. The timelines even have blown up a bit. You have within you the ability to grab this energy and do with it what you wish. All of this chaos craves cohesion. Now is the time for you to take this chaotic energy and use it to power up your loving mandalas and your personal desires. For eventually, all of this chaotic energy will be claimed by someone's. So it may as well be you to create the reality of your dreams. 
Do not cower in fear. Take this chaotic energy. Introduce it to the birds and the flowers, all the beauty around you. Introduce it to the beauty within your heart. Consume this energy and then transform it just as our beloved mother absorbed your energy and transformed it. You may do the same. Absorb all the chaos, transform it to the highest frequency of love, connect it to your wishes, your desires for betterment for self, for others. It matters not. You may consume this energy and request the greatest life for yourself. This is a good thing. You may consume this energy and send it out to others for better lives. This is also a good thing. Consume, create, while enjoying the beauty that has never stopped existing around you. This beauty will be grateful for your acknowledgement. And as any with gratitude do, be happy to support your efforts. Hmm. Indeed. This is what we had wished to share with you on this evening. Do not cower in fear. Do not live in distress. Own your life. Consume the energy and create a new world with the beauty of your vision. Indeed, you have this ability within you.